Well, it was a, a tremendous undertaking, and I must say, now it's safe to say it, where there was fear and trepidation, even when, as we went into the festival, into the first day of the festival. And not in terms of whether we g are we going to get the audience to attend, are we going to get a box office or money, that uh, is a secondary uh, consideration. But this essentially, you must remember, this is a committee of seven performers who themselves have undertaken to organize. Now, we're not organizers. Uh, of the seven of us, I suppose only two of us perhaps have a, a, uh, an orderly bent in our minds so that we can begin to function on that level. But now that uh, we're almost concluding it, today I can tell you it's, it's been a most exciting and exhilarating experience because the people came and they attended the workshops we have essentially uh, wiped out the star system. You see, the audience may have come because of Peter, Paul, and Mary, or Pete Seeger, or Joan Baez, or myself, but they stayed to listen to the Georgia Sea Island singers. Now, they wouldn't have paid a red nickel to have gone if it had been advertised, even for free. You know, say it would have been played on, on, on television. They may have switched the channel. But they came for one thing and stayed for another, and that's important. Well, do you think, uh, what do you think this means about their reaction to folk music, in quotes? I mean, what, have they learned something new about it, or what, why do you think this enthusiasm has been generated in this interest? Well, I can only tell you what a woman told me just uh, maybe half an hour ago. She stopped me and she said, you opened a new world for me. But I just, you know, I came here because I like Jewish music, and I know that I identify you with Jewish folk songs. But what I found here was something that told me about my own country, not only about my own background, my personal background, but the country I live in, the country I love. It's told me about curiosity about other people. You know, the woman was very eloquent, and she learned. She learned to like. She learned to be curious about her neighbor and like what she sees and hears. Do you think folk music has this quality of uh, inspiring curiosity and respect for other people and because of their different backgrounds? And Definitely. If you're, if you're singing another man's song, you already uh, stop yourself from shooting at him. Uh, well, what is your particular interest in folk music? Wh well, why are you interested in both as a performer and in terms of your own collecting and, and so forth? Because I believe that it is, uh, at the moment, one of the few answers to the chaos that we have. We have given and are still handing the youth of today a world without hope, a world where the threat of annihilation hangs over their heads. We are, even in this country, faced with strife, militant strife, in fact, where we, de we are denying, and I say we, I mean the society we live in, denies certain portions of the population their rights. The only recourse we have, and we are not violent people, the only recourse we have is to song. You know, take the whole body of, of the Southern Freedom Movement. It's a singing movement. They have nothing else but faith and song. And you, it seems that youth today is, is very interested in, all, in, the, in these kind of songs and this kind of direct expression. Is that, because most of the audience here is youth, I would say. They would have to be. Look at Bobby Dylan, a disturbed youth. He's 21 years old. He is an old man in his mind. He effectually, in his poetry, says to us, you have robbed me of my youth. You know, in, in another age, perhaps, I would be hopping and skipping about and having a good time, but I can't because all these things bug me, is what he says. And that's what his poetry says, and that's what his music says.